by flowers Always show up on time They always make calls Always on that FaceTime Something about When they're holding me late at night It feels good but not right Quick room tour. Two lovely beds. A little desk, a nice little TV, and we have a bathtub. And yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're actually going to go ahead to an exhibition and then head over to an exhibit. Um, so welcome back for all you that don't know me. My name is Carl, and I make travel content around Korea. Uh, currently with these two. Um, so we are gonna go over to the exhibit now, it's around noon and uh, spend the afternoon at the beach before heading back to Dongtan. So let's rock and roll. Hey guys, so we've come just a little bit further out from um, from the center. Busan's very spread out and we're at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Busan. Um, we're here today because they've actually got an exhibit on, it is called Sustainable Museum Art and Environment, which I wanted to check out. Um, it has a very like interesting aesthetic. Um, and I just fancied like a museum sort of day. It's hot. <laughs> We're gonna go to the beach later. But yeah, thought you would definitely like to join me on this little journey. Um, so let's go inside. So the main point of the exhibit, I think, is just to kind of push the whole concept of awareness of what we're actually doing to the planet and, uh, you know, a sort of apocalyptic future we're heading towards. Um, so there's lots of paintings, there's even a few sort of live exhibits here and there, and there's uh, like old sustainable energy um, adverts running about on small TVs everywhere so it's definitely interesting and showing the difference the transformation I think Korea is one of those countries where they have changed in the last basically 70 75 years from what they were to what they are now like they've rapidly built and it's such a metropolitan city now rather than a um, a more of a culture, like uh, more of a uh, more like in regards to villages and uh, like yeah, like the. Uh. All right, it's hard to find a word, but basically, it's just um, 
not a mega city, right? And right now, Seoul especially is a mega city. So this all happened in the last 75 to 100 years, you know? And with uh, the Korean War, war basically everything was pretty much knocked down. So yeah, I think it's just kind of putting awareness and a and um, a spotlight on the road we're going and the road we should be going compared to the road we're actually going. It's kind of cool. Mixture between nature appreciation and um capitalist capitalistic awareness <laughs> So this exhibition kind of just puts an emphasis on, you know, on the importance of sustainability and not being wasteful, you know, there's actual uh, art pieces just showing human waste, you know, and it's kind of like what journey that the world slowly is going to go towards. Um, so yeah, like, like I said, it's a bit of awareness. I focus on awareness, you know, the appreciation of the beauty of nature as well as the, you know, like I said, the apocalypse style future that we're heading towards. So, separate your garbage guys, like literally. Because <laughs> Korea is a very, I think it's quite a sustainable, wait, throwing the word sustainable in there too much, but you know, the stuff that they do here, that is fantastic. You know, you have to separate your garbage. A lot of the buses are electric. You know, they're quite ahead of their time compared to a lot of other cities. Um, and yeah, yeah, they're obviously gonna be suffering like most countries. Like the air pollution here is terrible. You know, is it because of them? You know, because of what they do? Most likely not, it's kind of just being affected by others, other countries, you know, so yeah, hopefully you also appreciate and enjoy this video, you know, because the things of it is really beautiful and really, really interesting. Show up on time. They always make calls, always on that FaceTime. Something about when they're holding me late at night. It feels good, but not right. Um, I thought this was a little exhibit, but it's actually a cafe um, and it's to the left of the entrance when you go in. Uh, you have to like go through like a, a playground type door, like sit and swivel over. So um, interesting, but super colorful and uh, yeah, not that busy. So if you want to grab a coffee, definitely the best place to go. All right, so I've just entered the time exhibit. Um, they only actually allowed 10 people at a time, so we've had to like scatter. We we're supposed to book in advance, but obviously we didn't um, because we're not organized like that. 
but um, I'm going in first. Hopefully, uh, check this out and I'll take you guys with me. So, um, it is a uh, all about time and time travel and all of that fun stuff. Uh, it's also super bright and colorful. And yeah, it's just downstairs on the B2 floor. Uh, I will put more link, uh, more, uh, I'll put a link about it in the description below. So uh, you can, if you're interested, if it looks good, you can read about it. Okay, so this exhibition is like an escape room. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. I'm just following. I've got kids in my group and they're just doing all the work. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that final exhibit, it was alright. Very modern arty. Um, so, yeah, and they didn't really allow me to take too many videos, only just with my phone. Really random. You can take a video with your phone, but not with the actual camera. So the quality is going to be a little bit poor, but um, yeah, hope you like it just to get an idea of what it is. Um, we're not going to be here for too long now. We're going to head over to the beach and um, just have a bit of a picnic. So I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far and it's a little bit of a different vlog. Um, but it's a fun one. Iris and uh, Rachel are still in the escape room. They're not escaped yet. <laughs> it feels good but not right. are gonna grab the bus and go to Dedepo Beach uh, and have a bit of a picnic so yeah 
direct bus all the way there. It's just about 35 to 40 minutes and uh, we can just sit and relax. Some road rage going on in front of me, but it's okay. None of my business. <laughs> so let's go. Take me high so I will 